Hi, welcome to Believe the Bible. Just a quick introduction to this channel of what its main purposes are. Number one is to see people saved. Let them see the true gospel that Jesus Christ gave to the Apostle Paul for us today to be saved by. That is the gospel of the grace of God, where we all need to believe and trust the fact that Christ died on the cross, was buried, shed his blood, and rose from the dead. And when we put our trust in that, and that alone, we are saved and saved for all eternity. Number two is to understand our Bible rightly divided. In 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. It's only by this method of study that God has commanded us to, to do, to understand his word, to properly interpreted, properly understood, and put things in order in his word that is a progressive revelation of history and of the, the messages that God had given people over time to put their faith in. The messages may also be called gospels. And there was different gospels. Abraham had a gospel. Um, the four gospel books have the gospel of the kingdom. In Paul's epistles, it's the gospel of the grace of God. So there are a number of gospels in the Bible. And we have to make sure that we understand the correct gospel that's for us today to be saved by. You can't be saved by Abraham's gospel by believing that his seed was going to be blessed and that he was going to be given a, a land and a nation. Uh, that's, that's not for us today to believe to be saved. Moses said that his righteousness came from the law. That's not the way we get saved today. We get saved by the grace of God, by believing and putting our trust in the gospel that Jesus gave to Paul for us today. And thirdly, when we are, know that we're saved by the correct gospel, that we know that we can understand God's word as much as possible, and nobody knows it all, for sure, but when we are rightly dividing God's word, then the next thing to do is to walk in Christ. And we get our walking papers from the Apostle Paul. Matter of fact, he says that the things that he writes are the commandments of the Lord, and that we will be judged by the gospel that he preaches. And so it's important that we listen to the Apostle Paul. Now, some people kind of shy away from that and say, no, uh, the whole Bible is for us. And, uh, well, that's a silly thing to say because nobody I know has an ark in their backyard or an altar to burn their sacrifices that were required at certain time by certain people. No, that's not for us today. And when we rightly divide God's word, we'll understand our walk in Christ comes from the Apostle Paul. Now, don't get me wrong. This is the way I put it. All of the Bible is for us but not all of the Bible was to and about us. About 94% of God's word was actually written to and about the nation of Israel. If we start putting ourselves in Israel's program under the law, then we're gonna be kind of messed up in what we do and what we believe and how we even get saved. Because Israel is not saved the same way we are, the body of Christ. The body of Christ, a term only used by the Apostle Paul, seeing he started the body of Christ, which is made up of Jew and Gentile alike, without any difference, without any significance between the two. But if you read the four gospel books, there definitely was a difference. Read the Old Testament, there definitely was a difference. And you read the Hebrew epistles, which is Hebrews through Revelation, you'll see the difference between Israel and Gentiles. So there it is. Hopefully you can uh, take this journey with me, make sure that you're saved, make sure you understand the Bible rightly divided, and make sure that you're walking in Christ the way Christ gave the Apostle Paul for us to walk today. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.